it is not unusual to suddenly send your email and then realize that you have sent something which you should not be. Uh, maybe it's because you did not uh, complete your message before sending or you have included something which might not give the right impression to your recipients. Fortunately, in Google or in Gmail specifically, you can configure delay sending. Now, a lot of people think that it's, it's like recalling a message. Uh, well, it's not. It's not like Gmail is delivering to your recipient and then calling it back. It's called undo send, which means you are delaying the sending by X seconds so that when you click on send, Gmail will give you an option to undo that action. And for that, we will, once you're in Gmail, we'll go to your settings. And under settings, in general tab, scroll down a bit to see enable undo send. If it's not enabled, just click on that, and then you can set up your timing window uh, for that delaying of message sending. Uh, minimum is five, maximum is 30. I would recommend going with 30 seconds and scroll down, don't forget to save your changes. When you come back here and you compose now, so when you click on send, now you will see an undo action. As you see here, if you click on undo within your time period, which is 30 seconds in my case, you should be able to undo uh, the sending of that email. So this was undo send. What if you wanna do more than that? Uh, instead of just 30 seconds, you would like to have more flexibility maybe on case-to-case -case basis, if not all the time, you are sending uh, something confidential, which you want people should be able to read and access for next 24 hours or three days, seven days, etc. And for that, there is nothing in Gmail, but uh, a Google Docs or Google Slides and Google Sheets, they offer a functionality where you can set the expiration date to your to your sharing so what you can do is you can go to Google uh, documents and then think of it that you're actually writing your email here and then you can type in whatever you want like it's your message I'm just demoing so I didn't type much and then when you go to share this file you can actually click on this advanced link and you can define the expiration date by clicking on this uh, watch icon. Click on this and then either you can go with uh, the inbuilt seven days and 30 days or you can also choose uh, your custom date. So I want my message to be accessed uh, by 25th uh, or 1st of November. So I just click here and I then save changes. And now this recipient, they should be able to access it by this expiration date and the way you can send this uh, to them in email is by going back to your gmail compose and then you can just type in uh, their email address uh, type in your subject and then here you can click on the drive icon uh, to insert the document which you just created and then just click on this insert now what's going to happen is your recipient will get this email which will have this document which consists or which includes your your email they can click on that they can access it from any device uh, like same like gmail but when that expiration date comes and then they try to click on this link they will get an error saying they don't have access to this document so uh, it's it's not like the you know straight away thing but uh, it's like a workaround when you don't want to spend on third-party add-ons and uh, trying to get uh, your stuff done like one-off. So hope it was uh, helpful in case if you have any questions as usual uh, put your comments uh, in the in, below the video and I'll try to help you out. Thank you.